Hey guys, what's up? Vicious here. I've got a new Minecraft tutorial for you today. The first video I did was a, a really big hit. Everyone was happy with it and asked me to do more. So I thought about things I could show you that'd be useful and I decided to bring you another redstone tutorial because I think redstone is probably the most complicated thing in the game and the thing that I can help most people with. So today's tutorial is going to focus on uh, using redstone to work doors. And when it comes to doors for me, there's one setup I particularly like, and that's double doors because they're easier to walk through. And I set three goals for myself for this tutorial for my double doors. And those three things are, one, that the wiring is incredibly easy to hide with not a single part of it showing, and that you don't have to dig too deep. So this setup right now you only has to go one block underneath of your floor, and everything would be hidden once you finish this floor off. Two, that it only uses pressure plates. Nothing here is using a switch or a button that I have to hit manually so I can just walk into my doors and walk out. And the third thing is that they close automatically on their own. So those are all my goals. And what you see here is a really ugly, crude looking circuit. This is the first circuit I made that worked the way I wanted it to and I was just experimenting. And from this, I learned a lot. But let me break it down for you. I'm not going to go into super super basics and all the circuits because there's lots of tutorials on that already. So this is an RS NOR latch right here that basically lets you turn on and off the doors. Over here, this is a NOR gate and another NOR gate which becomes an OR gate when you put them together. And here's another NOR gate. So basically I have opposite polarity. This torch right here is on having a hard time getting an angle where you can see it on or off and while the other one is always the opposite and that's what keeps these doors in sync with each other so let me explain that real quick a single door you put a pressure plate in front of it when you step on the plate it opens when you step off it closes pretty easy but you take a second door and you put a pressure plate in front of it and this happens the two doors are actually become inverse. So this is going to close instead of opening. And so that's why I have to have reverse polarity on these doors to make them work properly. The other important things that you would need to know to understand why this works first is the fact that pressure plates up here activate things one block below them. So this redstone wire that I have running underneath of them gets powered when I step on these plates. If you didn't know that, you'd be like, why the hell does this circuit work? Because it wouldn't make any sense. The other thing that is important to know about this circuit is that redstone torches do the opposite of pressure plates. They can power something one block above them. And that's why these redstone torches underneath of the doors are able to activate the doors. So anyways, basically what this is, it is a RS NOR latch connected to the switches. All the switches are wired together to turn the switch on, or the latch on, I should say. And instead of using another switch on the other side to reset the RS NOR latch, what I have is the, the uh, same switch that turns the circuit on also sends a secondary signal through these delays these repeaters which are set to a delay to turn the switch off. When you take a RS NOR latch and you connect the same input as the reset like this it becomes what they call a mono stable circuit because instead of having a one input source for one side of the latch and one input source for the other side the same input is working for both. And so anyways looking at this you can tell it's pretty nasty but I'm hoping you understand what's going on here. By the way, this will be a, a long tutorial, and I'm sorry. It's just because there's so much to cover. And I'd like to try to break it down enough to make it easy to understand. So I've got the two pressure plates here, starting at this point, running that wire over. This repeater is here only because my wire gets too long. If you go 15 blocks with wire, it loses its signal, so this extends the signal strength. Going directly into these uh, OR gate here to that door, passing through further. And then going to this NOR gate to activate that door. And that same signal is coming into the RS NOR latch here. This is what 
keeps the doors on because when I get up here, you'll see when I activate the switch, the an RS NOR latch here flips over and this torch gets power, which feeds the doors. And then the delay circuit gives me a few seconds of time <clears throat> before it resets itself. So the reason I like this is because we saw how you can't have the uh, pressure plates right in front of the doors. You have to back them up further. And you already saw that the time that these stay open is very short. So you can imagine if you had to put these further back, that getting through the door in time would be very difficult, especially if there's lag in your server. The way I've got this made, you step on it and the doors stay open for an extra second or so. So it works out perfectly so that you can get through easily and it'll close behind you. So moving on to the second part of my speech here, the important thing I noticed about this circuit after I analyzed it for a while is that I had to do this really nasty double NOR gate over here and a NOR gate over there. This is a lot of extra space and parts of a circuit just to get that reverse polarity. I happen to notice that I already have two polarities available right here in this, this OR latch. Here's one on and there's one off. I asked myself what would happen if I eliminated that NOR latch on the other side and just moved this over to handle both doors at once. Would that work? So over here on this tower I built a prototype and tested it. This is the way I came up with a design. It is the OR gate. I think I said OR latch a second ago. I'm just getting my terms mixed up. The OR gate Instead of having one go directly into the back of the other, there's no rule that says they have to be facing a certain way, so they're now facing sideways. This NOR gate is going out, and then into this other NOR gate, and two NOR gates connected together is an OR gate. So I have one torch on, one torch off, which means the doors are properly aligned. And if you were to activate this, both doors will open and close like they're supposed to. So you can see that this reduced the size of the circuit greatly. This isn't the full circuit. There's no uh, RS NOR latch here or anything, but this is just part of it to demonstrate. So it would eliminate and it would still meet all the criteria that we had before. It's still only using <clears throat> one block of space underneath and it works perfectly. And then after figuring this kind of philosophy out, I came and analyzed this again and I realized before I get to the OR gate over there that the RS NOR latch itself actually has two sources of polarity. There's already one off and one on all the time. When it flips they reverse. So what would work or would it work if you were to wire the RS NOR latch directly to the doors and skip all of that. So again I went and built a prototype to test this. And this is the answer. Here is the RS NOR latch, and it is wired directly to two torches underneath the doors. And the answer is um, yes, that it does work. Now, in this particular setup here, the doors are under two blocks instead of just one, but that wouldn't be necessary. It's just that I didn't have enough space to work with to, to wire it up otherwise. And once I analyzed this for a while, I had one more really crazy idea. And that was to wire the RS NOR latch directly to the door without any kind of wiring. And I tested that to see if it would work. And the answer is it works as well. But it's very complicated to get that set up properly because the RS NOR latch won't function if you have it right next to each other. So let me show you how to do this. I feel like I'm running on and on too much. I hope you guys still enjoy this video. I'm actually going to make a probably a part two where we actually go build these circuits and that way you, you can kind of learn as I learn. Alright, so the RS NOR latch. A block. Another block. See, I have to think this out mentally real quick.
Alright, now I got it. So this is a, a weird thing. I'm trying to put the doors on top of the RS Norlatch directly. But like I said, there's no way for me to do that because if I have these two torches next to each other, uh, to connect them, you'd have to run the redstone wire on top of the block. But then you couldn't put the doors above it because it would break the circuit. So this is the way that I found to do this. Connect these two together. There you go, you officially have an RS NOR latch right there. And the big secret to making this work is you put two NOR gates right on top of the RS NOR latch. And then you put your doors up there. And this is a fully contained double door system in this small space right here. RS NOR latch, two NOR gates, and then your doors right above it. You have the reverse polarity, and you have this nice wide open band of wire that you can easily wire your switches into. So this is probably, of all my designs, the most easy to wire and easy to work with, and it's just so ingenious that I actually want to name this like the RS door gate or something because it's like the combination of a NOR gate and an RS NOR latch. The only thing that this doesn't meet in my challenge criteria is that you have to dig two blocks down <clears throat> instead of just one to make this fit under the doors. But it would be worth it I think since it's going to be so easy to wire this. The reason why that first circuit up there was so nasty was because having to run the wires around without having them cross. But now that you've got this nice easy access, you just put down your wire, put your switches up on this side, you can run this around the back easy to your other switches on the other side. And then you can easily go around the other way without intersecting and go right to the side of this and have your delay here. This would work so well. And so I just don't have any more doors on me to show you that it would work, but trust me, it would work. So this is the, I'm coining this, the vicious NS door gate is what I want to call this. And if you guys ever want to use double doors with double pressure switches and didn't have an easy way to do it, now you do. So I'm going to go ahead and close this tutorial off now, showing you the circuits kind of giving you the concepts on how they work and why they work. And then the next video will be actually building these circuits together so that you learn as I learn because I actually have not built any of these circuits yet. And I got the test room ready for you guys right here. Built a nice little test chamber just for you. So see you in the next video.